Ladies and gentlemen, in order to shed just a little more light on the continuing mystery of the Watergate, we decided to conduct our own investigation into the affair and to try and piece together what really happened. We began with a series of interviews to help us in our peek through the Watergate. The first man we contacted was the security guard in the Watergate Hotel who first discovered the break-in of the Democratic National Headquarters. Mr. Guard, what did Mr. McCord say to you when you opened the door and found him standing there? Hello, darling. Nice to see you. Senator Sam Irvin is the head of the Senate Investigating Board known as the Irvin Committee, selected to investigate the Watergate break-in. Mr. Irvin, what is the first question that you plan to ask each witness? You from Dixie. You from Dixie. Well, this old boy from Dixon, too. <laughs> Listen. We then contacted Watergate defendant Mr. James McCord. Mr. McCord, when you were apprehended inside the Democratic National Headquarters, you said that you had simply gotten into the wrong room. What were you looking for in the first place? <laughs> well, what did you say to police when they showed up and found you there? Hey, pass me by if you're only passing through. Well, why did you attempt to bug the Democratic National Headquarters in the first place? Oh, no one knows what goes on behind closed doors. Well, how did you feel when you were caught? I wish I had button eyes and a red felt nose. We see here that one of your accomplices in Virginia has just been caught. What can you tell us about it? He just caught the Jamestown Ferry. After being silent for some time, Mr. McCord, why have you suddenly decided to tell all you know? But you'll be testifying against longtime friends of yours. Doesn't it bother you what people will be saying about you? The Lord knows I'm drinking. The Lord knows I'm drinking. I'm running around. The next person we talked with was Mrs. George McGovern, the wife of George McGovern, the Democratic candidate who was soundly defeated in the presidential election by President Nixon. Mrs. McGovern, when you learned that the burglars of the Democratic National Committee's headquarters had ties with the Nixon administration, what was your reaction? I'm the Then we spoke with Mrs. Nixon. Mrs. Nixon, what do you think about all the things they're saying about your husband? Kids, say the darndest things. We finally decided to go right to the top with our investigation, so we talked with the president. Mr. Nixon, when your phone rang in the middle of the night and you were told that members of your immediate staff might be involved in the Watergate affair, what did you think? Why me, Lord? Mr. President, Mrs. Nixon seems to have held up well in this time of great strain. What's she really like? She needs someone to hold her when she cries. Mr. Nixon, there has been some talk of impeachment going around the House and the Senate. What do you have to say about that? Ride me down easy, Lord, ride me on down. Mr. Nixon, this is just the latest in a stormy and up-and-down political career. A career where you've oft-times been down, but never counted out. What inner quality do you attribute this to? Goodbye comes hard for me. Thank you, Mr. President, for your time in talking with us. Do you have any final comment about Watergate? The best is yet to come. <laughs>